It's a good question for the government of Zambia, where I, which I studied quite a bit. 78% of Zambians, uh, of rural residents, are in extreme poverty, and the government has carved out 250,000 acre farm blocks for foreign investors. Wilfred Monga is, has 12 acres of land and some cattle in southern province in, in Zambia. He's a relatively prosperous farmer by Zambian standards. And his kids didn't look, uh, didn't, his family didn't seem poor. But he told me he worries that his children, particularly his girls, um, won't have enough land to support the family because land gets divided within families. Imagine, though, in this land-rich country, one 250,000-acre farm block could provide 25,000 land-poor farmers with 10 acres each. 10 acres would be plenty, plenty to support a family, plenty to grow a surplus and sell a surplus and have some cash income to invest in, your, in their farms, plenty to send their kids to school. And that's what agricultural development looks like. It always has, and it will continue to look like that. And with that kind of bottom-up progress, you're actually addressing the so-called population problem, because with progress, economic progress, comes reduced population growth, particularly if you focus on empowering girls and educating girls. So far, that's not what the Zambian government is doing. Large firms and local elites are reaping the profits. 